She's living in this haunted mansion somehow. Like seriously, this thing was an actual castle back in this lady's heyday. 50 servants all around to clean it. But now it's a much different story because she's trying to turn this place into a public museum. But don't nobody want to go and catch a disease at this fucking nasty place. They walk in and ask her why the house smells so bad. And she says that she just polished all the furniture with some special polish. I mean, look at this woman's house. And look at her fucking hands. The host couldn't help but make a comment about these nasty ass hands. Looks like she just stepped out of working at the coal mine all goddamn day. And what kind of special polish did she use on this furniture? A mixture of her piss and feces? And this woman, Cornelia, has a lot of rules for what can be used to clean her house. She says that she doesn't get down with absolutely no scented cleaner. It actually comes out that this woman only uses water with a sponge to clean her entire house. Yeah, she hates cleaning products. No bleach, no Windex, not even a hint of Febreze in this bitch. And so the host is all, uh, so that doesn't kill the bacteria then, does it? You know, just using the water and the sponge to clean everything. And she just says that it's okay with her and that some bacteria can live with her and she's perfectly alright with that. The woman's looking at her like, what the fuck, lady? She's getting all kinds of anxiety to be in this house after she heard that shit, huh? This old bitch is pretty much just one big germ herself. And so the only thing she says that they can use in her house to clean is something called fairy liquid. Seems like it's gonna be a challenge. And I'm thinking, well, I have lived with a few people who consider this type of job cleaning up as well. So I don't really know what to say. She never cleans this fucking microwave. And that is so disgusting because that fucking microwave is pretty much keeping her old dirty ass alive. Considering that she says she pretty much lives off of microwave pasta. And when they ask her why she doesn't have time to clean this little 12 inch by 10 inch microwave. She says that she don't got time for all that. She's never cleaned this shit once. Yeah man, that's the face we're all making right about now. Seriously, everyone's just disgusted. The host is all, We're gonna die here, aren't we? And this lady sleeps on some old sofa from the 1800s still. Also apparently never been cleaned before, cause this homeless, dirty looking bitch is just too busy to do anything, apparently. I mean, just think, this lady can't even clean the dirt off her fucking nose, or run a brush through a godforsaken hair of hers. So what makes you think she's gonna clean up a damn bed so haunted? She tells them that she actually wants them to stay in the most haunted room she has. Bitch, you're giving me nightmares. The mattress has never been washed in this guest room. It's over 100 years old. Never changed the sheets, nothing. There's just no work for this woman. Her only excuse as to why she does this is because she says it's how people used to live back in the day, that they wouldn't take baths. Uh, yeah, maybe before electricity became a utility. You know, back in the fucking 1890s. Really, lady, this ain't the Middle Ages, yo. I bet you're actually only like 55 years old, but... You haven't aged well, bitch. So they don't even end up staying in this disgusting ass house. I mean, I'm not even anywhere close to OCD and there's no way you would have caught my ass chilling at this lady's crib. MTV, welcome to my crib. Over here we got the cobwebs. Over here we got the mold. Over here we got the duck. And this fucking idiot says that she spends over four hours a day pulling weeds outside with her bare hands. Wait, so let me get this straight. This lady spends over 1400 hours a year pulling weeds. But she can't throw some fucking oxyclean around every once in a while? This is one selfish bitch.